<laughs> First, I'm going to start off by priming my face. This is the Makeup Forever Correcting Primer. And now I'm going to take this Kat Von D Locket Foundation that is about two shades lighter than my complexion. You will want to use a lighter foundation for this look. Now I'm taking this beauty blender to blend this out. To set my foundation, I'm using this Neutrogena Mineral Powder. So I'm doing my eyebrows how I normally do them, using the Ardell Professional Eyebrow Palette. Now taking the gel eyeliner from Maybelline, I'm going to take the brush that I came with and I'm going to draw a line on top of my brow at the center. Now I'm drawing a triangle at the base of that line. Now I'm going to take some black eyeshadow and a thin angle brush and I'm going to apply that on what we just did to kind of smoke that out. Now I'm just going to clean that up using the foundation that I use. So make sure when you're doing this you have that perfect triangular shape at the bottom and that the line goes thinner, almost like a cone shape. For my eyes, I'm going to take this orange shade and blend that all over my crease. Then taking that black shadow again, I'm going to apply that all over my lid using a shadow brush. Don't forget to blend. Now 
Now taking that same gel liquid liner, I'm going to draw two lines on my lid. My gel liner was drying out a little bit, so I'm going to take my liquid liner and fill it in. Now I'm taking some black shadow again and I'm going to fill that in to get rid of the shine. Taking some blush, I'm going to apply that all over my cheeks. Now I'm going to take that liquid liner and I'm going to draw three lines under each eye. Now I'm going to smoke that out with some black eyeshadow. Taking a black eye pencil, I'm going to apply that at my lower lash line as well as my lower and upper waterline. That's, that's a cute face. Smoke out that lower lash line. Now starting under our eyes, I'm going to draw a triangular base for those lines. Taking some black eyeshadow again, I'm just going to fill that in some more. Now I'm just going to clean up with that same foundation that we used earlier. And I'm going to make sure that my lines are going thinner as they go down. I'm also going to define those triangular shape under our eyes. Also, I'm wiping my brush because I don't want it to smudge in other places of my face.
Now taking any red lipstick, I'm going to draw some circles at the tip of those points. Now I'm just going to outline those circles. Now I'm just adding some false eyelashes. You can use any false lashes for this. Now for the fun part, which is the lip. So we're going to do a checkered like lip using a red lipstick and supposedly you would use black but I want a little bit of color so I went with a darkish purplish color. I'm just adding some highlight to open up that eye area a little bit. Now you can leave it like this or you can be extra like myself and take it up a notch and create a bigger smile. I changed my shirt in this one because I think it's more Joker inspired with the bigger smile but now I'm just going to take each color that we did and extend that smile straight up to the center circle. When you're working with dark shades make sure that you definitely use the right brush. I'm using this thin flat brush and I'm also taking my time with it. Alright, so that is it for today's clown slash joker inspired Halloween makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you like this look too.